YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new content. Now today I am coming at you guys with a review of seven different perfume samples. So I have all of these perfume samples here and I am going to basically give you guys my take on them. I know that Christmas is right around the corner so I think this is perfect for if you're wanting to give that special woman in your life whether it be your mom, your sibling, your girlfriend, your wife, your grandma, whoever. If you are wanting to give her a beautiful scent like some really good uh, perfume then you are in the right place because I am going to be basically reviewing these seven different samples that I've received and letting you guys know what I think of them. So this could be a great opportunity for you to come up with some last minute shopping ideas. So let's get started. Let's just dive in. So the first one is the Versace Bright Crystal. I don't even gotta smell it. Like this is already one of my favorite perfumes. I have like the big bottle of it. I love the smell, but I'm gonna open it up so that you guys can see. It lets you guys know the different fragrances that it has in it. It has Yuzu Iced Accord, Peony, Pomegranate, Magnolia, Asaju, Lotus Flower, Musk, and Vegetal Amber. Okay, so it's basically a flowery, fruity musk smell. And so I got some plain, like I just basically cut up some index cards. I'm going to give it a spray. Fan that out. And this is the little sample that they gave me to test out. It's a cute little pink sample. But if you were to actually buy the bottle, that is what the bottle looks like. Okay. It's just a good smell. It's a powdery, like a, I'm not going to say baby powder, but it's to that extent. Like it's a light powdery kind of just floral a light smell but it's really good it's great for work it's great for daytime wear it's great for date night like it's just a multi-purpose scent you can use it any time of day so i think that this is definitely a safe option i just i love that smell so if i were to give it like a one out of five I'm giving it like a 4.5. So yes, she's a winner. Okay. Moving right along. So we have Floral Street Wonderland Peony Fragrances Powered by Flowers. Okay. So that is what the bottle looks like. I have never seen this before. This one is new to me. This is what it looks like. It says dreamy, radiant, delicate, and thoughtful. So I'm going to give this a go. I've never smelt this one before. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So it definitely is dreamy. Like, it's just, and it's hard because these adjectives, delicate, dreamy, like, it's kind of abstract, but when you smell it, it definitely, like, that's the perfect description of it. It's one of, it, it, it is dreamy. Like, I, honestly, it's really hard for me to describe this for you guys. It's floral, fruity. It smells like it's got some pear in there. It's delicate, not too strong. This is a good smell. Oh my gosh, like this is really good. Everything, all of the adjectives that it has on there, it's accurate. Like it's dreamy, radiant, thoughtful, and delicate. Like you can tell, like they complemented the scents very, very well. This is good for somebody that likes kind of that more fruity smell. I It's floral, but I think the fruitiness outweighs the floralness of it, but it's a very good smell. I'm definitely getting notes of like pear with it. Oh, that smells really good. So I'm thinking like this might be really good for springtime. So definitely for somebody that likes that floral and fruity smell to it. Like it is clean. It's not a harsh smell. It's on the lighter side. That smells really, really good. Okay. So that was the Floral Street 
very, very good. It's Wonderland Peony. Very, very good. Okay. If I were to rate it one out of five, I might give that one a five. Like, I really like that smell. Next, we have Perfect by Marc Jacobs. Again, I've I've never smelt this scent before. This is new to me. Okay, it has some, this is what the bottle looks like if you are interested in purchasing the actual bottle. This is the sample that they gave me. The inside says, Perfect Marc Jacobs, a bright daffodil and juicy rhubarb accord meets soft cashmere and comforting notes of almond milk. Dazzling and unexpected. Perfect, just like you. Let's see. I like this. I can smell the almond already by me fanning it. I can smell the almond in it. Hmm. So this is giving me, you can definitely smell, like they weren't lying when they said almond. It's giving me that milky kind of like cocoa butter kind of smell. It's like one of those scents that you would, it's like you would use this after you get out of the shower for a spritz, especially if you use like a cocoa butter lotion. I feel like this would complement it very well. This is one of those scents like, I hate to say it like this, but it's like one of those scents that I would use for like around the house. Like after I shower, I would spritz this on as like every day. So this would be perfect for like everyday wear. It's very light. It's very, very light. It is kind of that rich kind of milky. You get that almond scent with it. It's very shea butter. So... I'm honestly like not a huge fan just because I feel like it's one of those scents that I could get by just bathing in like shea butter or something like that if that makes sense like and already I feel like the scent is going away I feel like it's lightening up already so I feel like this might be like everyday wear like fresh out the shower spritz it on okay you got a little scent about you and that's it I would give this like a three out of five just because I feel like the scent is going away already yeah so I would give it a three out of five and that was perfect Mark Jacobs that is what the bottle will look like if you are interested moving right along Lancome now I don't know what that accent is I think that's accent so complex I took a little bit of French in high school and in college. I think that's circumflex. So I'm, I can't remember how to pronounce it though. So I'm just gonna say, I don't, I don't know. Don't come for me in the comments. I don't know, but oh, goodness. But that's, this is what we're testing, Lancome. This is what the actual bottle will look like. No words on the inside, no description. So we're just going into this blind. Again, I have not smelled this before, so this is new to me as well. And let's see. Floral. Girly. I'm just giving you the adjectives as they pop in my head. It's going to last a long time. It has a hint of that grandma smell, and I know y'all know what I'm talking about. That, like, harsh kind of, like... Mm, she's there kind of scent just a little bit of that but for the most part it's very airy very light but it's one that has enough presence to where it's gonna last a long time it's gonna last you throughout the day very floral very it's a good smell I like it hmm that's all that's coming to mind is floral it's light it's airy it's gonna last very nice smell, very clean. I feel like this is another safe option. I would say this might be more for the mature woman. I'm not saying it's the old lady smell. I would say me, like I would wear this. So, and full disclosure, I'm 29. I would wear this. It's just one of those kind of distinct smells where it's like, it's strong to the extent, and maybe I'm using the wrong term because it's not strong. It's a light, airy smell, but you can tell it's gonna last. Like it's an impactful smell, if that makes sense. So I would definitely say it's for the mature woman. This would be great for work. This would be great for an outing, daytime or evening. 
definitely spring. You could pull it off in the fall and winter too, but just the floralness of it makes me think of springtime. Very good smell. I, I like this. I'd give it a four out of five. Very, oh my goodness. And it's like, the more that I smell it, it's like I'm getting different feelings from it. Very good smell. If you're interested, again, that is the name of it. This is what the bottle actually looks like. Very nice smell, four out of five. Moving along. Bulgari, Bulgari, Rose Goldia Blossom Delight. I've never smelt this before. This is what the actual bottle looks like. I'm gonna read Blossom Delight. It's in French. How rich. A floral rose musk with an y'all. I'm reading this in French. Okay, look at my French classes kicking in. Oh my gosh. Okay. A floral rose musk, a signature, mo a modern signature, captivative. Feminine essence and vibrant, vibrant energy, new something affirmative. Oh, after underneath it, it has it in English. Oh, okay, good, because it was starting to get a little hazy with my French. Okay, so it says a floral rose musk, a modern signature capturing the feminine essence and vibrating with a new sparkling and assertive energy. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Did I already spray this one? Yeah, I already sprayed that one. Okay. Where is the... Okay, there we go. There we go. It's hard to see where the little hole was. Very light. Very, very, very light. It's very, very, very light. So definitely an everyday wear, maybe go to work sort of situation day date something very clean very crisp very 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 light like i'm i'm barely i'm barely getting anything you guys can see that i sprayed it's very light here we go that is what it is that is what the bottle looks like i'm giving it a two out of five because i can barely smell anything okay moving on we have two more my Burberry. This is blush. So that's what the bottle actually looks like. Nothing for me to read. Yeah. So let's just get to spraying. Goodness. There we go. Ooh, that smells powdery already. I get a whiff. I like that. It's romantic. Oh, that's a romantic scent. This is definitely giving date night vibes or date like day vibes. It has a little bit of floral, definitely giving springtime date night. Like it's, it's a sensual kind of scent. Very nice. It's clean. Floral. Definitely floral. I don't think I'm getting any fruitiness. It has a little musk to it. Maybe a little bit of amber. Oh, that's a really good smell. It leaves like a, it's like a creamy floral scent. That's very, very nice. And it's light to where it'll last you. It's probably not going to last all day, but it has an impact. Like when you smell it, you smell it. You know, that kind of thing. Very nice. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. My Burberry blush. Again, that is what the bottle is gonna look like. Very nice, very nice. And our last one is the Gucci Guilty. That is what the bottle is gonna look like. Nothing for me to read. Oh, Blackberry, Bulgarian Rose, and Goldenwood. Let's see. musk definitely musk you know gucci is good for that they're gonna give you those strong scents that are gonna are gonna last a while i'm definitely getting the musk i'm definitely getting that blackberry smell 
it's more of the harsher scents. So I would say that this one, you gotta be careful for somebody that's picky about their scents. This one, it's you either love it or you hate it kind of thing. I don't think there's much in between because it is kind of a harsh, that, that uh, sandalwood, that musk. Yeah, this one, this is tough. I like it, but I know that not everybody is gonna like it because it's a distinct smell. That blackberry paired with that musk, it's, it's, it's a smell. Like, it's, it's a distinct and a very strong, very impactful scent. If you know somebody that likes that kind of powerful, impactful smell, when you walk into a room, you smell it. If you know somebody like that, they might really like this. It's very impactful. For that, I'm gonna, personally, I'm gonna give it like a 3.5, just because this just, it's not me. It's not a bad smell, but it's very distinct. That musk is heavy. When you walk into a room with this on, you're gonna smell it. They're going to know you're coming from a mile away kind of thing. Yeah. All right. So that's it. We had the seven samples, perfume samples. I hope that this was helpful. It was really, really hard describing the smells and the sensations and the vibes that they were giving. Um, but I tried to do my best. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I know Christmas is right around the corner. So if you fellas out there or ladies looking for gifts for your moms, your girlfriends, your wives, your sister, your best friend, maybe this is an option for you guys to get them a nice bottle of perfume. Um, I'm going to put in the description down below all of the scents that I listed. I'm also going to put my rating and yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. I enjoyed it. Um, I actually got this sample off of eBay. It was like 10 bucks. So that's something too. If you guys want to experience it yourselves, go on eBay or something and get just like a bulk of samples and smell them. And especially if you're trying to give a gift to somebody, smell them and figure out what you think that that person might like and go from there or just visit the mall and just sample a bunch of things. I personally don't like that interaction because I feel implied to um, buy something like compelled to purchase something and I just want to smell so personally I would prefer to just buy it on eBay and if I really like the scent then hey I got a sample I can use it myself that sort of thing but yeah I hope this was helpful thank you guys for joining me make sure that you hit that like button comment below if you have any of the scents that I sampled below give give me some feedback give me y'all's rating let me know what you think of it if you have it tell me if you've gifted it to somebody what were their the recipients thoughts on it let me know down in the comments down below thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see y'all soon